Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. I know we were expecting to go over to the Fallen Temple, um, but I've given it some more thought and given we're a hardcore character, level 63 doesn't quite cut it for what I want to do, uh, especially given the challenge that we faced with Varshan uh, when we did the... Uh, uh, the upgraded invoker so we're going to carry on um pushing and leveling a little bit uh at least until level 65 before we consider it uh so we're going to jump straight in and do more tier 20 dungeons hopefully with the extra fire damage output that we've got um this will go a little bit faster and we'll be able to get through three a time um but i don't think we're ready just yet to go into the uh, the Fallen Temple. When we do go for it, we're going to want to make the best fire resistance potions that we can. Because most of Elias's attacks are flame based and they will be very challenging if we don't prepare for them. Really want to... I want to make sure that we don't get ourselves killed just because we're way too eager. Alright, big guy down. Probably shouldn't even bother picking up the emeralds and things, but it's in my nature. Now, because we have to kill everything in this area, we are going to be thorough. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. There's a nice group up there. Saw them come together on the map. Now, the mobs in the Fallen Temple aren't ever going to get beyond level 70. But even at level 70, the Elias boss is going to be very tricky. Ooh, hello. I'll take that. Gave us a little bit of acceleration coming forwards. Okay, keep moving round. Let's put on some invincibility and then get the hell out of dodge. That's not going to be fun. I lack the needed man. Look at all those shots coming out. Wow. She went down nice and quickly, though, once we had the Inferno out. the worst thing that's ever happened to us. Getting repositioned like that. I wonder what the, uh, the maximum duration of flame shield you could get is. Like, if we were to lean into uh, fireball and, and meteor and stuff... We could have uh, led into the uh, critical strikes, reducing the cooldown on defensive skills. And that in turn could have maybe given us 
not permanent uptime on uh, on flame shield, but it's significantly higher uptime on it. Down you go. One more remaining. It's going to be the big one. Three mobs remaining. So these guys decided they were going to just stick their head out. Down he goes. This was easy money. Making my way across the delta was a little bit tricky, but I've had tougher. Now I just need to find right, the there is one of our collect a flask pool and get back to the witch to grab my one gold. of our points that we want. Let's not gold. get directly injured. That's right underneath us, that's a little cold. I will flame you down with our flame shield. Grab the ancient statue. Um, let's move past most of them. Try and get the poison one gone before they put anything else down for us to run into. Ow! <laughs> Drink the old healing potion, they die quite quickly and then they still blow up with massive, massive painful explosions. Okay, is that everyone? I think it is. Definitely a good time for us to put on our fire shield. Okay, no more making us run around. Let's activate the heart. You pulling me around either, mate. Okay, we ha ow. We have a great shrine, which is not in a good. It's a cursed greed shrine. And out of mana. All the flame on you. We're definitely not going to get the mastery on the shrine, but there is so many other things around us. There just wouldn't have been enough time to kill everything after that. And then, of course, it's going to be wasted. Because there's not going to be anything left for us to. Uh... Oh, we got close actually. It was, it was really close. Well, we got the greed shrine. Let's uh, try and get a group together. Big hits. There we 
goes. Three tribes worn off, but uh, we got some money out of it. Now this is going to be a more relevant massacre. I'm out of mana. Not gonna lie, it's getting a little painful. We have killed enough, however, so... Let's try and just burst them down. Might be done with it now. Definitely a distraction. Not quite. The other reason I don't want to move for it uh, just to level 63 is we've been experiencing a bit of lag on stuff. And being underleveled is risky in itself. And then having the potential for uh, lag-related mishaps, it's, it's just a bit too worrying, really. It would feel reckless rather than risky. I think that's, that's my big issue with it. guy down. This devious thing. He needs to stop trying to drain our resources. I cannot carry more. Okay, we need to go back to town. We'll do that in a moment. Town we go. We'll clear some space, come back in and carry on. We're making good pace through it, I'd say. We don't want to slow down, but we should be able to get it done inside of 20 minutes. And if we can, then we'll be able to push for two more this episode, assuming the same same level and about the same How affixes. Can I I can come back if you need the forge. <laughs> So we've got that. There's the heart. Yeah. 
go. Nice batch kills. What do we reckon? Have it down the left? There it is. Back out of that foster kill. Hey, there's a paragon point for us. I'm out of mana. Let's get more flamey fire on him. Get him done sooner rather than later. Really? So frustrating. Right. Point into the glyph socket. We are going to put in probably unleash. Now this is going to affect magic nodes nearby. Um, so unleash is one that's worth us trying to put up because we're going to get plus to fire damage especially once the radius expands. Uh, plus to fire damage over here. Well probably not over there. But certainly this whole whole section up here should be able to reach each of those. Keep the damage on him. It's disgusting. Okay, there goes the damage resistance. All right, I wonder how much damage resistance it does, because sometimes it does feel like. It affects them a lot. Sometimes it feels like it does dimly squat. Either way, we're done here. Killed, and we'll push in and fight the Tomb Lord behind the monolith. It's a lot of damage on him initially. to just burst him down at this point. There we go. Final death throws. And as his body vanishes, we're good. Right, reinforced. Gets all the points. Uh, now, unleashed... We would also need to get up to level 15 in order for it to expand out, but uh, it's a pretty cool one once uh, once the bonuses are going to get triggered. Being able to get extra damage output and extra mana regen for uh, when we kill stuff is um, is going to be very powerful. Okay, that was that was just on 20 minutes, so we might not have time for three. The forge is ready. But as always, we can uh, salvage that. Salvage that. Mm. Salvage that. And that has potential, but 
we're always burning through our primary resource so I think it's just going to have to go also overpower damage so we don't really care uh, that's going to get salvaged yeah everything else gets gets stuck in that's going to get salvaged as well yeah And then we'll head on to the next dungeon. So, almost level 64. The next dungeon will probably take us far enough. There's a tier 20. Try that again. Unfortunately, until we move up to World Tier 4, we can't do the higher dungeons, which means we can't get more, more points for our glyphs. So this does feel a bit like grinding for the sake of grinding. I need time to prepare that. That's where we're going. Specifically, we want the High Priests, so we can kind of blitz through this a little. No, no, no. Sorry, villager. Honestly, don't care a bit about what's... Oh my god, this is a terrible place to be. Let's dash away from that a little. Ow. Woo! Had to drink a healing potion. But more than that, that was that was quite sketchy. Shouldn't have been as cocky as I was. We do still want to be moving forwards quickly, but not recklessly. It's because I'm getting impatient, that's what it is. on all of these. Okay, we've got our Inferno back, but let's save it for big priest. Then again, now's as good a time as any. don't like doing this with no mana. Okay, 
First High Priest is gone. Let's hurry on round. I think we can't actually get across there. Okay. Let's just ignore it, keep moving. We'll uh, retreat forwards through this bit. That's how we'll do it. Okay, solid. Let's uh, move on up and round to the left. Two more priests to get and kill. I do think our um, Hydras are doing a lot of their heavy lifting in this. Really really does make a difference how strong they are. still don't have perfect rolls on our equipment. Well, we are, even with the aspects, we don't have the best uh, firewall one, we don't have the best um, armor increasing uh, disobedience. Guys, done. On the way. Cursed. But. It will be fine when we get it. This uh, devious, though, is going to cause us some trouble. about to lose a potion as well. So once we get these few bits cleared down, we'll drink another. Uh, we'll just have man slaying, sure. Once we get that conduit, we're gonna I'm not ready yet. really try and rush up on this guy. I need time. Seventy-seven thousand. Agony is the divine catalyst. Thy bone shall crack. It was. Pretty fierce, that. I feel like we did well utilizing it to get another one of the priests. 
I've said it before, I'll say it again. I really like the voice actor that, that did that. Like, you could tell he was he was sold on the part. Keep moving up, let's find the next. I think we can get a few together for the Inferno. be annoying let's ignore it start these guys all burning down this one we should probably pay attention to though How are we doing for space, ladies? Space. Probably shouldn't have opened that. I need time to prepare that. Where is this last priest? This is just the first section, of course. There's going to be more after this. But this is a particularly uh, long one. Is up at the very top. There goes the uh, damage reduction aura. You need to stop shooting bolts at me. right on top of him burn him down okay that is the uh, the last one this is gonna hurt yep that being said it was fine Definitely wouldn't want to have that level of pain every moment, but we could stomach it for a, for a bit. Okay, 
almost back at that chamber door. I'm not ready yet. Big one gone, second one gonna go in just a moment. Nice. Let's uh, push on round. over here as well I believe straight down into the chasm of abomination all right Get him. Perfect. Gained a level. Got him killed. And we didn't even have to go back to town. Right. Reinforced is up to rank 12. Let's put our point in over here. Right, so we're going to push towards Flame Touched first. to get these under the hammer and then get straight back into another dungeon. So what do we get? Uh, it's a barrier, it's not a perfect roll. Well, it is a perfect roll but we don't care about it and that is not a perfect roll so that's just gonna go. Good salvage. Let's uh, drop off our gems and we'll get right back into another tier 20. Salvage, salvage, salvage. Okay, that's a tier 20. That's a tier 22, so we'll probably salvage that up. Which of these affixes do we prefer? Monster burning damage, shattered damage over time. I think Avenger. Let's get in quick and get this done in the Lost Key. So we're level 64 now. Another level will get us four Paragon points, which will put us closer to the, uh, the nodes nearby. Try and keep going with a quickness. The mobs are dying fast enough that. Uh, that Avenger isn't really much of a concern for us.
That hurt. That took 20% of our life in one go. Here we should just be focusing on the fractured spirits. That's a good selection. Never see uh, one of these dungeons with plus to fire damage. It's always like plus to lightning damage, plus to poison damage, plus to frost damage, never plus to fire damage. It's probably because the game knows. First gone. Let's move on to the next. There is the second. That's quick. Definitely get behind that. to get in here. Let's uh, move on, find the third. We'll uh, head down to the south. Stabby up close. Our problem is if we haven't dealt damage recently, then our armor level will have dropped. Which means we end up taking more damage, so almost always we want casual damage to be being inflicted just because it keeps us alive. Shouldn't be opening chests. Opening chests is just encouraging more monsters. There is the final one. Let's make the area safe out here. There we 
it goes. Now we find the door, which is just over there. And then it'll probably be Animus Carriers in the next area. Red Knight goes down. Through we go, through the door. that vengeful. Like this one's a little bit annoying, but he's only a little annoying even then. So, Animus Carriers? Yeah. First one, gone. Artillery Shrine would be very nice if it's not cursed. Which it is. Coming to join in this fight, that's not what we need. It's going to be a waste of the artillery shrine, effectively, but... What are you going to do? We'll, uh, we'll try and put it to good use, regardless. Pretty effective. Oh, there's two in here. Ah, oh, and it just wore off. That was a unfortunate timing. We did get them killed fast enough. Oh, there was three in here, actually. And even more over in this corner.
I'm not ready yet. You know what? Let's just inferno him. We'll just inferno him and he'll be done. Okay, we've still got one more animus carrier to find. way into this room because that's starting to get a lot of very unnecessary painful damage She got locked behind a wall there. There is the last animus carrier. Let's open the door. Damage resistance is gone. And so is the carrier. The animus urn is right here. We've got enough space. Let's head on down and kill the council. Oh, resurrected malice. Sorry, my mistake. Burn him down. Gone. That worked really quite well. Points go into reinforced. So another two of those should take it up to level 13. decent amount of experience from that as well. Right, over here, salvage everything up, let's see what we have. Shatter key passive, don't care. Basic skills, don't care. Blizzard, don't care. Crackling energy, don't care. Okay, interesting. So, Two ranks of flame shield, that's the same as we had before. Once it gets upgraded, it'll get to three. Poison resist and fire resist. Plus to movement speed. I think I'd like our current one more. But this is this is interesting. I'd be tempted to re-roll that movement speed into damage reduction while injured. Not tempted enough, however. Okay, well, we did a whole bunch of re-rolling last time, so we're quite low on money. What we'll do is we'll just go over and buy some offhands with our 250 obols just before we finish. In case we get a decent aspect. The, uh, the firewall aspect is the one that we're really caring about it's a bare bit of magic in that one okay increase damage to vulnerable enemies while you have a barrier it's very specific we're not making enemies vulnerable let's just salvage it up i 
In fact, no, let's uh, let's sell these. Yes, yes, I have wares. Fair travel. Sell them with you. There we go. Fair enough for me. We're gonna need to sell a hell of a lot next time. That gets salvaged as it is. Okay. Well, we've got more tier 20s. I think we'll salvage up all the tier 19s. We've got a selection of tier 20s that we can keep doing. And once we reach level 65, at that point, we'll consider doing the Fallen Temple. So probably just another two episodes. Put them in and I'll take these out ready to get them salvaged. In fact, let's let's head back to Kyrvashad to do that now. Uh, but that is where we're going to finish for this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have enjoyed it, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.